Hi, it's Nick from Building Point Australia and welcome to this Ideostatica presentation on steel grades and specifically ensuring that we are assigning the correct grades to members and other components in the connection model. So I'll start off by opening up a new connection model in Ideostatica and we'll see what the software provides in terms of defaults and other options. So we of course can pick from a large range of connection types, for example, beam to column connections, beam to beam connections, hot rolled tubular connection details of various types, a truss node type of connection, base plates, etc. I will pick a truss node connection, this one in particular, because it has a few different types of members and some plate components as well and we'll work through those different details and we see above that we can enter the name and some other text to help us identify the connection we can also change the default steel grades and bolt assembly uh, diameter and, and grades and so on for this connection and if we make changes here to these defaults it'll be remembered next time we come in to uh, start a connection uh, so all of these details, uh, other than the design code, can be easily changed later on in the connection model. So the design code is important to get right from the outset. So I'm happy to use Australia and I'll select Create Project. So a handy option in Ideostatica is to just hover the mouse over something in the connection model in this 3D window. So for example, this cord, this uh, universal column section, used for the truss cord. It's a 152 by uh, 37 kilograms per meter universal column section of uh, our hot roll grade 3679.1 300. We see the thickness of the flange, the thickness of the web uh, and so on. And uh, the grade is right, but I want to change the size to a more commonly available size in Australia. And if I hover over this tubular brace member, it's not a size that I want to utilize and the grade is also using that default grade that has been set up at the outset. Uh, that's going to be the grade initially for steel components and members throughout. So we want to change the grade specification for a number of components, including this, uh, these tubular braces. And so too with the plates and the cleats and the gussets and so on. These are also the hot rolled section grade. So if these are hot rolled flats, so a width and a thickness that is available as a hot rolled section, then this grade is fine. But more typically, we would select a plate grade and perhaps a grade 250. It depends what grades you want to work with and what the steel supply chain suggests. But um, a common lower grade option of 250 is quite often used so that you're either on the money or you're perhaps slightly conservative in terms of the plate components. Okay, so let's proceed to make some changes here. And so I'll select that section and select the edit option. If I want to change the section type entirely, I, could, I would use the plus uh, icon here. So when I select the section range, I see it's not defaulting to an Australian library. Uh, there's a few libraries that I've selected a star against the favorites. Uh, and uh, if I pick the favorites filter, I can more quickly change this section to an Australian size like that. And as mentioned, the grade is uh, what I want. So for the cord, I'm happy with the setup now. And this is currently an 80 by 6.3 square hollow section and uh, to a hot roll grade. So let's make some changes there. So again, it's a correct section range in general, but it's not picking from the Australian Library currently. And again, I can go to the favorites. And instead of 80 square, I'll pick an 89 by 89 by five square hollow section. And we need to change the grade here as well. And an 1163 grade is not in this project in, is not in this model at the moment, so it's not available in the drop down list box. I don't want to select this edit tool because I don't want to edit this hot roll grade like that. So uh, I want to select the plus symbol to uh, to add a new grade and another grade uh, to this connection model. And of course, I want to use ASNZS 1163 and I can pick from the available uh, C 
grades and uh, I'll use C450 in this case, so cold formed grade 450. So I'm happy with those details and I'll OK. And this is section two, so D1 is section two, 89 square hollow section. And I want to apply that over here. So if I select that member, so D2 is now section three, and I could edit that, but it's a lot easier, of course, just to use the same grade that I had before. So if I now edit either of these, they're both using section two, they will both change uh, because it's section two that's been edited. And uh, uh, that's a handy way to, I guess, make a group edit in a sense, if you do it like this. All right, so that's the, the braces are of a suitable grade and let's select the gusset here. And I don't want a hot roll grade like that. I want to change it and make it a plate grade. And as discussed, I'll use grade 250. So AS NZS 3678 grade 250. And I want to use that same grade for other items in the connection. And I could proceed to select each of these components and make sure I've selected the correct grade. Another way is to work through the various connecting plates and other stiffening plates and so on and make sure you've got the correct grade. So now that I've added the plate grade to this project, it's available in the drop down. I don't have to use the plus symbol. And uh, for some operations, you might have grade mentioned twice in the operation, you just need to make sure that uh, you've allocated the correct grade for each item. So it depends on the connection type. And I'll go to connecting plate two and uh, make sure I also have the correct grade there. So just to check, to confirm I've got these various details right. So the end plate is 3678250, we'll see on the bottom left, the tongue, as well is the same, the tongue over here and the cap plate there. And if I like, I could check on the other side, but it is the same as the tongue on the other side. So now I'm, I've got the correct grades uh, for these items. And of course, I could proceed to uh, perhaps editing a few details, bolt sizes and, and so forth. But I'm happy with this um, in terms of the grades. Uh, so I won't take that aspect any further. But for some projects, we might be actually working with some steel grades which are not available in the items that we can choose from, say, in the Australian grades. So it might be that we need to go a little bit further in setting up a custom grade in a sense. So let's have a look at that. So perhaps this cord is going to be supplied from an overseas grade. So you know, although I've changed it back to an Australian section, let's go back to the way it was. So instead of a 150 UC 37, let's pick this from some uh, UC sections. And in this case, we'll go to back to the 152 by 37 kilograms per metre and select that. So it's still the Australian grade, but to an overseas section size. So this is the, the item I want to now move on to. So let's go to materials. And by the way, when we're in this uh, area, there's quite a few nice options. So for example, the first grade under the materials title, uh, that's the default grade. So if we've opened up a connection using the default and we've got a number of items, what we can do is come into the materials tab and select that item there and change it to a different grade. So let's just have a go at that. So instead of grade 300, I'll use the Australian grade 350 for the items that previously used grade 300. So let's go back to design and it's only this section here. And if we look at the edits, we've got grade 350 there. And of course I can hover over this and see on the bottom uh, that we've got grade 350. All right, but let's take it a little bit further again. And what I could do is add a new grade to this model or perhaps uh, select a grade like this and copy. Now I have an, a copy of that initial grade and then I could select edit. So currently it's grayed out, it's a built-in grade. I've simply copied it, but if I select edit, it now is available for me to edit and I'll change the name later and I could proceed to change some details in here. Uh, but what I, want to do is get the correct details for a European grade. So 
I could look that up in a catalogue or online or so on. Or maybe what I could do is go back to uh, the, the start and open up a, a new connection and set it up to be to the European grade and have a look at what uh, some of these details are. So let's just have a look at this quickly. It doesn't matter what connection type I choose. Uh, what's important is the design code that I use this time. So I'll use the Eurocode and create model. And I'll go immediately to the materials tab and add a steel grade. And I want to select a grade from EN 10025-4 and S460 with a controlled microstructure, so M category. And I'll pick that grade. And let's have a look at these details here. So we see that it's quite a high strength steel and we've got quite a few changes in the yield and ultimate uh, strength specifications depending on thickness. So this is what I want to replicate in the uh, Australian context. So I'll press uh, screenshot and give myself that, uh, that, uh, that graphic for use later on. I'll now, now minimize this connection and go back to my Australian model. And I want to set these details up. So let's have a look at how that can be accomplished. OK, so I'm editing this grade 350. And I could replicate a few other details here, such as the uh, density and the Young's modulus and so on, and the Poisson's ratio. But I'll, use, I'll, I'll leave the Australian details for those. It's, it's up to you, of course, what you do. And if in the future I do some capacity design, I'll use the recommended values of 1.25 for uh, the for both the strain hardening and the, the overstrength factors. Uh, I'm not going to go into those now, but I'm just going to get that right just in case. And in terms of these uh, various thicknesses here, you can't edit those uh, directly like that, but we see this edit button. And so we can open that up and make the edits here. So I see I've got three lines here. There's six over here in the European grade specification. What I want to do is add another three lines and then get these details uh, correct. So the, the way I find uh, it's, uh, it, it can be done, I guess, in a fairly uh, speedy way is to just uh, look at the, the thickness values on the right hand side and just type these in to replicate them. The software brings that value down to the next line at the beginning. So 1640, 63, 80, 100, like that. And let's have a look at the yield stress, 460, 440, 430, 410, 400. and 385 in terms of the ultimate tensile 540 540 530 510 500 and finally 490 like that okay so we can okay on that and just do another check uh, to ensure that we have the uh, the correct representation here. Okay, so at that point, we can uh, directly go back and assign this grade to uh, a member in this model. Uh, but I might want to use this for other models as well. So what I can do is uh, save this this new grade, and this is where I'll call it something. So S460M, and I want to put it to a different table name. I'll select that option there and type in EN10025-4. So for that grade, I want to, uh, or that code, I want to provide this grade option. There can be other grade options for this code, but I'm just going to use that one. So I'll save this away. 
And what we'll see is that this grade has now been added to the material product uh, reference library. So we can have a look at that in here. We can select that grade and uh, review the, the details that we've entered. We can uh, delete it later on. We can edit it, etc. cetera. So uh, the, this MP RL uh, is um, handy if you want to start to build up some custom grades and so on and other details uh, uh, in your connection. So let's go back to the, uh, the design window and let's assign the correct grade now to this shape, which is already from a European uh, section library. And now we have the S460M option here. So there we have both the size and the grade uh, as required in this case. And of course, I could proceed to analysis. Let's go back and uh, as the last thing, just start a new connection entirely. Now that I've saved that grade away, we should be able to use it in the Australian context for new connection models. So I'll pick uh, another uh, connection like this and make sure that I'm using the Australian details and create the project. I'll still leave the default grade as it is, but then I'll make a change. Okay, so let's edit this beam. I'll leave the size as it is. And uh, I haven't got any other grades in this model at this stage, but I can select plus. And now we see the grade that I've added to the material and products reference library. And so it's now available in my standard list of grades. Uh, and I've got that one option uh, available there. So, all right, well, thank you for your interest. And if you have any questions on Ideas Statica, please get in touch with us at Building Point Australia. Thank you very much. Cheers.